Recently, professional pool player John Schmidt attempted to break Willie Moscone's straight pool high run record. Moscone's high run of 526 was set during an exhibition in 1954. John's recent best on video was 434. Straight pool, also known as 14-1 or 14-1 continuous, starts with a break shot of a full rack or by shooting at a ball next to a 14 ball rack. Then you pocket balls in any order using the last ball for the next break of the re-racked 14 balls. That's why it's called 14-1. Keys to good straight pool play include excellent cue ball control, smart pattern play, controlled cluster breaking, and smart break ball selection. You must also stay focused for a long period of time since any miss or scratch ends a run. For John to run 434 balls, he had to break and clear 31 racks without missing a single shot. Obviously, this is quite a feat, even for a top pro. John's long run ended with an unfortunate scratch on the 32nd break shot, where the cue ball curved a significant amount. There has been a lot of speculation on social media concerning what caused the cue ball to curve so much. One possible explanation, not mentioned much, is an effect called ball turn. Normally, a ball rolling with side spin heads very straight. However, as described on the ball turn resource page linked in the video description, right or counterclockwise spin does tend to make the ball curve to the right, as is the case with John's shot. Again, ball turn is usually negligible. But with extreme spin and slow cue ball speed, as with John's shot, the curve can be noticeable. To clearly show the cue ball can turn when rolling with an extreme amount of spin, I decided to do the following experiment. I hit a stop shot with fast speed and a lot of side spin, and then hit the spinning ball with another to see if the path curves. First, I wanted to check to see how level the table is on this side. After hitting a bunch of soft speed shots, more than shown here, it is obvious that the table has slight roll off to my left, so I need to be aware of this when making conclusions later. Then I hit a large number of shots with side spin to see if the cue ball tends to turn in the direction of the spin. In this video, I only show a representative sample of the large number of shots. Here's what most of the shots look like with right side spin. They either went straight or had slight turn to my right. Remember, this table has slight roll-off to my left, so the roll-off is canceling some of the turn. Here are more examples, again showing a tendency for right spin to cause turn to my right against the roll-off to my left. Some of the shots had slight curve to the left, but not as much as seen with the roll-off earlier. Then I hit a large number of shots with left spin instead. Remember, this table has a slight tendency to roll off to my left, but the balls with left spin turn to the left more than what we saw with roll-off alone earlier. Not all of the shots curved a significant amount, but none of them went straight or curved right as with the right side spin shots, so the ball turn effect is obviously real. Then I decided to show the effects of chalk debris on the table. I rubbed two pieces of chalk together and then sprinkled the particles on the table. This is what it looked like when I was done. This is obviously way more than what you would expect on a table but I wanted to make sure there was a good chance for the cue ball to hit a chalk particle. Here are some example shots with no side spin. Obviously, when the cue ball hits a chalk particle, it can change direction slightly. With side spin, the effect was similar. The direction of the deflection depends on the side of the cue ball that hits the chalk particle. Note that when the cue ball hits a chalk particle, it changes course immediately, unlike the gradual curving seen in John's video. So what actually happened with John's run-ending scratch? Again, a ball rolling with side spin usually heads very straight, but when the cue ball is rolling slowly with an extreme amount of spin, ball turn can be noticeable. John's shot seemed to curve more than any of the examples in this video, but the amount of curve can depend some on cloth conditions. Also, other factors could have contributed to the curve in John's shot. 
In addition to ball turn, there could have been slight table roll-off close to that corner, and there could have been some dirt or irregularities on the cloth or slate. Maybe the cue ball was also slightly out of round due to one of the red measles on the ball bulging slightly, as Bob Jewett has suggested on AZ Billiards. Regardless, John's effort to break Moscone's record was impressive and commendable. John, if you're listening, in future attempts, you might want to consider the following. Use a new cue ball. Make sure the table is perfectly level over its entire surface in all directions, and keep the cue ball and table as clean as possible during the run. Good luck breaking Moscone's record. We're rooting for you, and we look forward to watching your record-breaking performance.